Prima Media's Mining Weekly is speaking to Bernard Swanepoel, the chairperson of MMC. Bernard, can you tell us about what happens in this business and what has been happening for nearly 50 years now? Indeed. Yeah, so early next year we will celebrate 50 years of existence. Only the last 15 years has been in private ownership. So, But over the 50 years we have taken the waste product of manganese mining in South Africa, the fines, the stuff that you can't sell, and we have been beneficiating it using chemical processes and then ultimately large quantities of electricity to plate the manganese to make the world's purest manganese metal. We make 3% of the world's manganese metal, China makes 97%. So we are the only non-Chinese producer, but fortunately we make the best manganese metal, the purest manganese metal in the world, and therefore we feed into a quality niche market that nobody else can really compete in. And this is just an untold story. It has been around for 50 years. Semanco used to run it on behalf of BHP Billiton and Anglo, the old Semanco structure. And when they started to diversify, a group of individuals bought it and we've owned it privately since then. But there's a great new horizon developing and research I've witnessed with my own eyes, mm. being at quite an advanced stage, going into the new era of supplying electric vehicles. Yeah, you know, we're being reluctantly sucked into the future, as we sometimes are, especially as South Africans. So we have known for some time that our Japanese customers buy our metal, to dissolve it to make manganese sulfate to put it into batteries. Now clearly that's a bit illogical. We make manganese metal, very good quality, very expensively. Then you take another step to dissolve it to have it as manganese sulfate. So why don't we go straight from South African ore to manganese sulfate? Well, that's not a recipe that existed, so we had to develop it, we've patented uh, it, and you saw some of the bright young South Africans making this work. So we're about to embark on a process of building a manganese sulfate extension to our current plant. It will be small. We do 30,000 tons a year. This will be 5,000 tons. But if this 5,000 tons is built and, and accredited and it goes into all the batteries of the world, then the sky is the limit. Then we can truly step out and put South African manganese on the map again. We have to find a South African solution. But we do believe we will be competitive, otherwise we can't do it. We are investors and, and business owners, you know, we can't do it for any other reason. The space is, is, is potentially huge. You know, as you know, in electric vehicles and battery storage or energy storage, there's constant development, but manganese goes into those batteries for good reasons and it's actually quite cheap. And therefore, there's lots of formulations that actually puts more and more manganese into batteries and that will suck us even deeper into. China already owns the space. I mean, that's true for, for strategic minerals, for battery minerals. So 90% of the world's refining capacity is in China. We are an example of one little facility outside of China in the space of manganese. So clearly there's a huge, huge opportunity for us to grow into that space. Um, but we will have to be world class, we will have to be safe, we'll have to be environmentally friendly and there that's easier to be China. But we also have to be price competitive and that's not so easy. And of course this is a game full of politics and we sit here on the southern tip of, of Africa on the eastern side of the country with logistic and other challenges. But despite the challenges, let's just focus on the phenomenal opportunity. Talking about greenness and cleanness, I see you're already getting hydropower from Leidenberg. Yes, and if only there was more. If only there was more. If only ESCOM could supply us sustainably with green electricity. Because those are the threats that th threaten the business. Nobody. Tesla doesn't want to buy manganese that was beneficiated with dirty electricity. I'll just use an example. So we have the challenge of addressing logistical challenges, the just energy transition, a source and, and, and access more and more green energy whilst also expanding our plant. And remember, this is more than just an exp uh, expansion. This is truly launching into an adjacent but new business. And that's, anybody will tell you, there's a significant risk to that. But you've met some, you've met the world's best manganese makers. There is no doubt that the best manganese makers of the world is located here in Nelspreit. So we start with unique South African skills which we believe we can leverage. That was Crema Media's Mining Weekly speaking to Bernard Swanepoel, the chairman of MMC.